Good day! This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. Okay, we have here okay, the Xiaomi Mi Band 8 and this time we are going to check on one of its main features. And that is the heart rate monitoring as well as the SpO2 or blood oxygen monitoring. We are going to check whether the results is okay whether it can provide details as well as fast results so if you have any questions regarding this video review especially for the health functions just drop a comment below okay so let's have the Mi Band 8 okay so we have here the heart rate monitoring let me show it to you okay so this is our heart rate monitoring with animation and as you can see here it detects whether we are using the fitness tracker or not okay so let's try and wear the fitness tracker and let's see if we'll have a good results or not okay okay so let's try so it's now measuring so let's just wait it's more than 10 seconds now and we have here the 87 bits per minute okay so 86 so this is automatic monitoring learn more so we have here some information okay so if you want to see more details about the results we can have it here or you can check it in the support app okay so we have here as you can see the graph okay so i think it is set to automatic or, or dynamic heart rate monitoring okay for the blood oxygen okay it's also available here so here we have no data so tap on to measure okay keep still it's now checking for war blood oxygen so calibrating so let's wait so we have here 96% okay got it and we also have the graft here okay so for the details of our health so let's check it here okay on the device so we have here on the bottom part we have workout device profile and health so let's tap on the health so let's see do we have the details okay complete profile info Okay, let's just skip this okay so let's see if we'll have the oops it is pushing us to complete the details here let me complete it first okay so we have set it successfully so let's check it again go to health and we have here the bits per minute let's tap on it Okay, to work, make workout data more accurate, complete profile info, already set it. Okay, let's just put something here. Okay, done and let's see. Okay, so we have it here. Okay, so 96 bits per minute. So we have here the graph. Okay, the maximum, the minimum and the average. Okay, so for the blood oxygen, let's see if we have it here. Okay, so we have here the blood oxygen. Okay, 
Can we set it here? Okay, let's see if we have other settings. Okay, settings. Okay, so it's here. Continuous monitoring. Let's just... I think every minute or every 10 minutes or close. Okay, let's see. High heart rate. You can turn it on. Oh, I guess if you want to continue a high heart rate and low heart rate, I guess you have to set it to automatic, maybe. Let's see. Okay. What if we turn it off? So we have irregular heartbeat also. Okay, can we set it? No. You have to set it to continuous monitoring. Enable to set a high heart rate and low heart rate. Okay, so let's check again. Heart rate and let's see if it will stop. No measuring. Okay, so that's the bits per minute we have. 83. Still measuring. I guess you have to uh, sync it first. Okay, so that the settings can be applied as well. Or maybe restart the device. Okay. I think it's still set to continuous monitoring. So again let's go back here if not i think we really have to restart or set up our device anyway what we are after is the results here okay it's already on auto close okay Okay, so that's it. So we have here, we st it's still set on continuous monitoring. Maybe we have to restart the device. Okay, or maybe we have to pair or sync it again. Anyway, let's check first if it's if the result of our bits per minute is almost the same with our Apple Watch here. Okay, so this one, the Apple Watch is also set to continuous heart rate monitoring. So let's check. So it's now measuring both devices are measuring so we have 94 the apple watch do have a much faster result as you can see here so we have 89 as you can see the same results so it dropped to 86 okay Let's adjust first the screen display here so we can see it properly. Band display, auto lock for, let's make it five minutes. So let's see. Okay, we have 91, 92. As you can see, it's almost the same. Okay. 94, it's the same. Very accurate for the Xiaomi Mi Band 8, I think. We'll see later on. I'm going to try. Okay. I don't know if, it's if I will have the time. I will check it with the Omron medical grade device. We almost have the same results as you can see here. Just plus or minus 2 or 1 only but as you can see it's almost the same okay let's check for the blood oxygen okay what's the blood oxygen here do we have i forgot the location of the blood oxygen for the apple watch 
Okay, we have it here. Uh, let's see. Okay, blood oxygen. Start. It's now measuring. So we have 96%. Going to do it again. So we have here 94%. Okay, let's see the other one. 95%, as you can see, it's almost the same. Okay, I'm impressed with the sensor here. Okay, for the Xiaomi Mi Band 8. Okay, again, let's go for the heart rate. Okay, let's have another test. So we have 91 here. <laughs> That's too much. That's 100 and now it's dropping. We have 92. It's almost the same. 90. Yes, I think it's definitely a good sensor for the Xiaomi Mi Band 8. As you can see here, they have the same results with the apple watch 6 okay so that's it again if you have any questions regarding this video review the health monitoring okay of the xiaomi mi band 8 and we compare it with the apple watch 6 just drop a comment below and we will try to answer your queries if we do have the time bye